Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you about how I made this lamp using logs and stained glass. Hope you enjoy. Here it is. But first, a testimony from a past customer. Hello everyone, I'm Elisa Dyson. I'm here at Melanie's booth at the Banner Elk Art Festival on the Green. And I just wanted to comment uh, about her beautiful lamps. Every one of them is a work of art. Last year when I was here, I bought one very similar to this, but it had blue and white glass in it with the same type of wooden base and the edges. It sits in my living room beside the fireplace. I think everyone should come and take a look. Unfortunately, they're not lit up right now, but when they are, the various lights, every side of the glass is different. So you can continually turn your lamp to get a different view when you have it in your home. So this, I believe, is beach, and I milled it off of this property I have, and I had to plane one side of it in order to attach a square piece of lumber to it in order to attach the stained glass. So that's what I'm doing now. It's a it's a Ryobi hand planer and it's battery operated but I'm just checking to make sure it's flat and it isn't so I had to make it flat. Otherwise things wouldn't sit right when I was putting the stained glass in. So here I'm looking at the edges and deciding how I want to position them and attach the glass. And I'm thinking, should I put a groove in there, a little V in there, which I think would have been very difficult to do. Uh, typically I have four corners, but I obviously don't with this. I just have the one flat side. So I had to put a board in there to give it two edges. And that's when I came up with this idea of a flat or actually a square piece of wood to sit on that flat piece. So now I got my two edges. One will go against the flat part of the log and the other one will go on the outside part of the timber or that light brown wood right there in my hand. I'm just sizing up the uh, little pieces that I'm going to attach. I glued them and I nailed them uh, to the birch logs. And what I like about these birch logs is all the feathering and the texturing. It's so organic and, and real. And the little uh, knobs and or where the limbs came out, I like that part of the birch logs also. So now I'm uh, putting on some tight bond three glue and um, then I will attach it with a battery powered nail gun and I'll leave space 
on the one side for the glass to attach to and a little bit of space up closer to the bark on the other side and the glass will sit on top of that. As we get further on in this video, where I put the glass will make more sense. I, I don't know if I'm explaining it very well as it stands, but hang in there and just wait and you'll, it'll all make sense in the end. Now I'm just thinking it through because I didn't want to have to rip off that piece of little piece of wood and all the nails and the glue and that would have made a big mess. So I tried to think it through before I went and uh, glued these pieces on. the log, what I call standards, or the uprights. The glass will go here, and the glass will go here, against this, and against this, and uh, glass is obviously dead straight and flat, so it needs a flat surface to adhere to, and uh, that's how those will work. And I need to cut, you can see there are regular cuts here. I need to cut these flat. I'm gonna do that with the chop saw, make them all the same height. What I will use is this piece for the bottom. So I will cut this here. So it's it's not gonna be a ginormous lamp. I'll definitely cut that off and clean it up. This is cypress, so when this cleans up, it will look like a light blonde. This color. This is obviously still got the sawmill marks on it. I'll link a video to uh, the video I took of a guy sawing this lumber up for me, but his blade was not sharp and it kept doing this irregular cutting pattern. But it's all live edge, you can see, live edge. And uh, it'll be that color once I sand it down. We'll run it through the planer, whatever I need to do to make it dead flat and also nice, pretty, get rid of the old tarnished look. Now that won't tarnish inside. This was outside, so that's why it tarnished. So that'll be for the bottom, cut here, 
recut there. So it's not going to be a big footprint. You don't want a big footprint. And this will be the top. I like the live edge look, so I'm going to keep that and probably clean this edge up a little bit more, make it a little bit more. This I milled, so it, it needs to just be cleaned up a little bit, and I'll cut it like right there. So it's parallel with this end. That end is fine. I'll probably chamfer this over to match this edge, you know, so it's all about the same. So it looks kind of like that. This will be on the top, so what I'll do is I'll have to carve a hole in here big enough to get your hand in there, and the only reason I do that is to get in and change a light bulb. That'll be the top. And then do some kind of cute little hood that sits within this frame and not overhangs. I could do one that overhangs. I'll just have to see how it goes when I get to that point. Whenever I design, it's always by the seat of my pants. I mean, I make it work according to what it's I'm presented with. So, you know, if it things don't work that I have in my mind in my original design, then I change it. I just make it uh, work for whatever it is that I'm creating. I let the art, I let the, uh, I let the material in this case wood speak to me, so to speak. No pun intended. Now I have a 60 tooth blade on this and it should give me a really nice clean cut. The, the issue that I'll have is making it level because this is not level. So I'm going to put it on this flat piece. I know that is flat. So that is how I'm going to cut all of these sections. So it might go this way or that way. So what I probably should do is fill it with this piece so it's butt up against it might be a little thick it's got to be parallel and flat so this will probably work better it's a very thin piece and i'll butt this up to that and then this will lay flat on the table itself so now it's going to be an even cut no matter what I do. A little bit of a burn, but you can live with that. But this will lay nice and flat now. So when I put it on that cypress, it's going to be as right angle as I can possibly get it. This is definitely a right angle because I measured off of this. So now I have to decide how tall I want to make this lamp. And keep in mind, I'm not considering the. Uh, I'm not considering the hood, so it will be taller with the hood. I think I'll make it 16. So, right there. Get a pencil. Good at 16. And since I'm cutting three more of these, I need to put a stop at one end to uh, make sure they're all the same length. So I'll cut the one end flush first, and then I'll flip them all, put a stop, put a stop down there, and then cut the rest of them.
So I put a clamp down here with a stop. So when I put this in place and I put the fresh end I just cut up against there, it's gonna cut a new cut here. I just gotta make sure that all of these are long enough and they do appear to fit. Probably cutting off more than I should, but that's okay. You know what? I can extend that by just moving this piece out, locking that in place, and making it a tad longer. It's not much longer, but anyway, that's well do. I got another flat cut. So now these two should be absolutely perfectly even. This is going to be sanded out and smoothed out. And this will be sanded. Well, I don't think I have to sand that. So there's one. Find my flat cut at this end. I got a new piece of board here because the other one was too long, so do that, bring it up to the end, make my cut. Now normally I have a big uh, dust collector on, but you wouldn't be able to hear me at all with that on, so I'm removing the off cut. This is my, my good end, I'm taking it down here. Put it up there, lay it flat on the table, and make my cut. Number three. And the bad end gets cut, so flat on my table, but up against that square piece. And voila! So, so now you can see that they are totally square and flat on the bottom and on the top. I hope you enjoyed part one of a four part series that I'm doing on this stained glass log lamp. Stay tuned next week I'll have part two. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.